So what's up? My name is Roland Luis, and I am from the proud class of 08. I, I acted as a kid, and I was definitely like into uh, the arts when I was a kid. So when I was in college, and I was an adult, and I realized, you know what? Why am I doing? Even though like pre med slash pre nursing was like something that interests me, it's not really what I wanted to do. And I mean, I just fell in love with with the program, the campus, the teachers are really great. One that stands out to me right off the bat is um, probably Carolyn Boone. She has this really great way of teaching and just a very honest way, especially for something that has to do with, with the arts, which is, you know, a very difficult thing to teach. So you can't teach talent and there's, there's a way you have to go about that, you know, and sometimes you do have to tell someone it's just not there. And that, that's a tough job, like I wouldn't want to do it. And then Shimko. And Shimko more so because I was at that point in my life, I was sort of like opening up my eyes to, to the realities of the world and his um, theater history class really synced up with what I was going through at the time. Stuff like that you learn in theater school and that is crucial. I think the very first thing which was a show called Proto Hobo, this was uh, written and directed by Greg Hundemer. I was so fortunate to be surrounded around people that in my mind, now and at the time, just they just get it. And watching Matt Lusk was in that with Paul Salazar, Kelly Harkins, um, and just watching them all play, and it's just this ping pong game with the director being like, "Yeah, yeah, no, how about this?" And I carry that, you know, even in film auditions and in any works that I do now. I always think about that. Like, I, I, I've been very fortunate. Before I moved out to LA, I was lucky enough to. Uh, my first project was Machete with. I got to be directed by Robert Rodriguez, which was awesome. I am so grateful for that. I did a pilot for Fox called The New Guy. It was a short role, but I got to, you know, work and see, like, Colin Hanks and Tim Matheson, you know. Um, and I've been in a few other, uh, like, you know, co-starring roles. Boyhood, which I got to get, again, directed by a Texas phenom, which is Richard Linklater. You know, I got to work with him for two years on that. I, I'm just so grateful for that. Super stoked. You know, I thank myself for just being a, a go-getter. You know, a lot of the times you just want to sit at home and go to auditions and wait for someone to call you. But that's not enough. When you're at school, it's the safest environment to fail. And if you don't fail in college, then you did something wrong. You know, you should fail. You should fall on your face. You should do a stand-up routine and nobody laughs, so you know what that feels because when you come out here, you're going to feel it. And it's good to have some experience and to know that you're going to stand back up and dust yourself off and, and just keep going because, I mean, what's the alternative? To not do it anymore? I mean, certainly not my alternative. I don't think you need to go to theater school or a school to get into the arts, but it sure as hell does help. You're going to be around productive people. You're going to want to be around that type of people because there's going to be a lot of people out there that are not as productive and are negative, and if you surround yourself around that, you'll slowly but surely sink into that. So hang around productive people, proactive people, positive people. That's the best advice I can give anybody. I got a call like an hour later, and they're like, yeah, I'm like you were what they were looking for. So that pumped up my head a little bit, so that felt great. <laughs> Humility though, keep that. <laughs>